Throughout the new world as of right now, the Research Commission is facing their biggest target as of yet which is none other than the mysterious red dragon that is the Safi Jiva. In terms of priority, this elder dragon is considered to be a top priority target by the Research Commission in order for them to ensure that the Safi Jiva does not leave the secluded valley in any way shape or form and start roaming across the new world or even the old world at that. But just how deadly is this elder dragon that has become a top priority for the Research Commission to actually to press this elder dragon in the secluded valley within Monster Hunter World Iceborne. Let's go ahead and take a look. Hey everyone, Corner Pinoy X here once again, back with another video for Monster Hunter World Iceborne. In today's video, what we're going to be studying is none other than the power of Safi Jiva in Iceborne to get a better understanding just how threatening this Elder Dragon actually is and what would happen if Safi Jiva was let loose outside of the secluded valley within the world of Monster Hunter. Now, the idea behind this video is to study the form of the Elder Dragon not from a gameplay perspective but rather a narrative perspective, giving us a much better idea as to the power level of the Elder Dragon if not limited by any of the gameplay mechanics as of right now within Monster Hunter World Iceborne. Now with all of that being said, if you enjoyed these videos, please consider leaving a like on the video itself and let me know in the comments below what you think about Safi Jiva as an Elder Dragon and how powerful it is within Monster Hunter World Iceborne. Now let's go ahead and take a look at Safi Jiva's power throughout Iceborne. Now before we get into understanding how deadly the Safi Jiva is, we first need to take a look at its juvenile state, the Xeno Jiva, the Dark Light Dragon. Xeno Jiva is a very deadly elder dragon according to the base game in terms of narrative and for the most part, it was the highest priority of the research commission at the time because they finally found the answer to the elder's crossing and what was manipulating it. Xeno Jiva's innate capability is the ability to absorb bioenergy from dying elder dragons. According to the storyline, elder dragons throughout the years created the Xeno Jiva due to the Xeno Jiva absorbing their bioenergy, meaning that it's culminating that energy throughout the centuries. So, Xeno Jiva's ability to absorb bioenergy from dying elder dragons is a very parasitic capability. Along the way, it started to manipulate the Elder's Crossing by actually causing it to happen every 10 years rather than every century. Meaning that Xeno Jiva is actually engorging itself in bioenergy at this point throughout the story of Monster Hunter World. So it's just absorbing bioenergy after bioenergy from any form of dying Elder Dragons, which makes it a very deadly parasite because Elder Dragons dying are actually needed in order to restore certain ecosystems within the new world. Alongside being able to absorb bioenergy, the Xeno Jiva also has the innate capability to manipulate Elder Dragon's behaviors in the new world in terms of narrative. Now, this particular ability to manipulate behaviors of Elder Dragons is what caused the Elder Dragon's crossing to actually happen more frequently in the new world rather than happening once every century, so every 100 years, it started happening once every decade, so every 10 years instead. So this ability to manipulate Elder Dragon's behavior is actually quite dangerous in the new world, especially with monsters like Zora Magdaros arriving in this area that could potentially destroy the entire continent if it actually exploded in certain locations. Now, Xeno Jiva does not care about the new world in its entirety so long as it can absorb bioenergy. This is the only behavior that Xeno Jiva knows as an Elder Dragon. Absorb bioenergy and manipulate Elder Dragons into going to its location so that it can absorb bioenergy even more from these powerful Elder Dragons. So Xeno Jiva actually created this unique cycle of Elder Dragons going to its location to pass away so that it can simply absorb their bioenergy. So now that we have a better understanding of the Xeno Jiva's capabilities as a juvenile monster, what does it actually translate to when it evolves into a Safi Jiva in Monster Hunter World Iceborne? 
Well, first and foremost, Safi Jiva still has the innate capability to absorb bioenergy similar to that of Xeno Jiva. However, the ability to absorb bioenergy is far more advanced in my opinion. And the reason I say this is because of the fact that Xeno Jiva relies on elder dragons to die in order to absorb their bioenergy, but Safi Jiva doesn't. Safi Jiva can actually absorb the bioenergy of the very earth that we stand on. Meaning that Safi Jiva could devour the entire world if it was left to its own devices if it really wanted to. This means that Safi Jiva, if it wanted to destroy the entire world, it can actually do so by absorbing the very life force that creates the ecosystem of Monster Hunter, which is bioenergy. So by draining the entire bioenergy of the world of Monster Hunter, Safi Jiva could potentially destroy the entire world, thus creating an uninhabitable planet. So this is one of the main issues that we see with Safi Jiva's capabilities to absorb bioenergy. Because it's far more evolved than its juvenile state, it's able to do so by absorbing the very foundations of the earth in terms of bioenergy as we see during the Safi Jiva siege. Alongside being able to absorb bioenergy and devour the entire world by consuming its life force, Safi Jiva also has the innate capability to actually control and manipulate Elder Dragons within its current state. However, unlike Xeno Jiva, I think one of the main capabilities that's evolved with Safi Jiva regarding manipulating Elder Dragons is that it's now able to manipulate the highest caliber of Elder Dragons, meaning Black Dragons. Now this is just a theory as of right now, but I think the reason that Alatreon arrived in the New World, and more specifically, the Secluded Valley, is due to the fact that Safi Jiva is actually manipulating the Blazing Black Dragon to arrive in the Secluded Valley, so that when the Alatreon passes away, it can absorb its bioenergy in order to evolve even further, allowing Safi Jiva to evolve into a potential Black Dragon. So this could be the very reason as to why we see Alatreon arrive in the Secluded Valley specifically throughout Monster Hunter World Iceborne in the next title DLC update. With all of this information in mind, we can now see as to why the Safi Jiva is perhaps the most deadly elder dragon that we've faced so far within Monster Hunter World Iceborne. Now that's not to say that Alatreon, the Blazing Black Dragon, is not a world-threatening level Elder Dragon, it is, and it's considered as a Black Dragon, but Safi Jiva being able to manipulate Elder Dragons as well is one of the key advantages that this Elder Dragon has in comparison to something like the Black Dragons. Now in previous Monster Hunter games, we have seen two Elder Dragons interact with one another, one being a standard Elder Dragon and one being a Black Dragon. One of the most famous storylines of the Monster Hunter series is the storyline of the Fatalis and how this Elder Dragon actually drove away the Lao Shan Long, a gigantic Elder Dragon that's mountain in size, away from its natural habitat due to its sheer presence. However, Safi Jiva is different. Safi Jiva doesn't manipulate Elder Dragons through fear. It manipulates Elder Dragons by enticing them with the bioenergy that it's absorbed, allowing Safi Jiva to actually cause these monsters to behave in a far more unique manner in comparison to instilling fear like a Fatalis for example. So the fact that Safi Jiva is able to manipulate Elder Dragon's behaviors potentially of a Black Dragon level really shows just how deadly this Elder Dragon is throughout the world of Monster Hunter if left unchecked. And that is pretty much it for this video, taking a look at Safi Jiva's overall innate capabilities and just how deadly this Elder Dragon is in terms of narrative if we look at the lore of Safi Jiva throughout Monster Hunter World Iceborne. Again, at the end of the day, we need to be able to separate the lore of a monster to the gameplay perspective of the monster because the gameplay does have its limitations in order to make it a fun experience. However, Safi Jiva being an Elder Dragon that's capable of absorbing bioenergy really shows that this Elder Dragon does have the ability to cause the planet to become uninhabitable by devouring the entire life force of the world of Monster Hunter in order to engorge itself with the bioenergy that it's absorbed. So overall, Safi Jiva is a deadly Elder Dragon that the research commission needs to make sure never leaves the secluded valley or the new world at that because of the fact that it could potentially end the entire world of Monster Hunter if left unchecked and left unchallenged by other Elder Dragons. What do you think about Safi Jiva's capabilities in terms of lore outside of gameplay throughout the world of Monster Hunter? Let me know in the comments below if there's any other theories that you might have regarding Safi Jiva in terms of its capabilities throughout the world of Monster Hunter. 
Now that is pretty much it from me for this video. If you enjoyed these videos, please consider leaving a like on the video itself and subscribing to the channel as well as hitting that bell icon so you can go ahead and catch up on any future Monster Hunter content that I might be doing or any other games that I might be playing in future. Until then, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks ever so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Onward and upward.